Hey guys, um, I'm loving the interaction I am getting. I'm just gonna stop this because it's really on social media about the questions I'm asking. Um, I'm just trying to make conversation and always curious to know what other people think about stuff. Obviously, um, I'm a trendy shopper, so I went to motherhood maternity and I tried on a one-piece bathing suit because I want to get a really cute polka dot one-piece bathing suit and I tried on some capris and I left the store without buying anything because I was refusing to pay $45 at the stuff but I felt like it was part of the experience of being pregnant of going to a maternity store and trying things out and seeing what's comfortable and not so then I posted on Facebook like what should I buy and I love how everyone's just like just wear leggings and dresses like I'm I will eventually need some pants and I don't always want to wear a dress you know and have my thighs like squish 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 against each other my thighs are touching each other and it gets sweaty and disgusting and sometimes I want my thighs to be separated by shorts <laughs> you know what I mean so I love everyone's like just wear large t-shirts and um and a slack pants or a baggy pants. Like, I don't even wear that now. Why would I, when I'm pregnant and you feel, yes, I'm pregnant, I'm holding a baby and it's beautiful. Yes, awesome. But you know, sometimes you feel fat. Sometimes you feel ugly. And I did, I'm not there yet. But I know I'm eventually going to get there. So I don't want to wear ugly, big, long, big t-shirts. And if that's what you wear, cool. But you would never go to an interview like that. No one would ever take you seriously if you're wearing slack pants and a large t-shirt every day of your life. You know what I mean? That's just the society. That's it's just it's just the perception of the world. So, um I like to ask questions because it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to actually go out and do it, but I'm just, you know, making conversation. Hey Don, yeah, totally agree. Hey Sherry, hey Sarah, hey Lisa, hey my Nick. Hey Heather. So, it's just interesting, like, so many people are trying to sell me leggings. I want maternity leggings. I don't want, like, the band under my belly. I want the, the band. I've been, I've tried the band before, and it's just so comfortable. I like the band going over the belly. I can't stand the pressure under my belly. I just can't stand it. Even, that's why I don't really wear tight clothing really that much now because I cannot stand the the elastic under my belly. It hurts my belly. Hey Fred. Hey Louise. Hey Carrie. Hey Brendan. So it's just crazy though how much. Yeah Ashley. My sensei sister. Well lots of sensei sister here but me and Ashley were asked to do video at reunion last year and I met her and she's amazing and very inspiring. Exactly, Carrie. It gets worse. Hello. So, it's just so funny. People are like, you know, people in Africa are having babies on the grass. You know, you don't need all that stuff. I'm not in Africa. And I'm not going to have my baby on the grass. So, I like comfort. I'm just wondering what you guys use. And I'm sure that person didn't have their baby in Africa and didn't have it on the grass. And probably bought, you know, maybe a body pillow. And some stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just trying to make conversation. Don't take everything I say so literal, you know what I mean? And um, it's just so funny how everyone's like, just wear big baggy t-shirts. Like, no, I kind of want to feel sexy. And you know what, guys? I never wear tight dresses, like, unless I feel, like, super duper awesome. But now I, I wore, like, a tight dress and my belly popped up. And now I, can, I feel like I'm going to wear more tight clothes because I'm pregnant. You know, so I can really stick out my belly. And it's just so awesome. And I'm so excited for that part. You're going to be a small preggers tights. But maternity pants are awesome with the elastic part. I like the comfort of a, of a hospital. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lena. You know what I mean? The grass isn't that comfortable. What if ants go up my pants and then go up my butt? Oh, man. And then go, you know what I mean? The ants, bugs, grass is not good. Oh, well, thanks, Louise. Hey, Linda. How are you? Vicky. You're at work. You're probably not supposed to be listening to this. 
I want to go and meet you for lunch on Thursday, Vicky, but I'm sick today. So unless I feel better, I'm definitely not going to go around another pregnant lady. So my best friend, is uh, her last day of work is on Thursday, which is really exciting. No, I'm not going crazy in maternity clothes. That's why I asked on Facebook if people can give me their clothes. And I already have three people. I have Christine. I have um, Mel. I have um, someone else offered me offered to give me some free clothes. I just want like three pairs of shorts, like two pairs of leggings, and then I have lots of baggy shirts and um, uh, two pairs of capris. You know, because I'm going to be pregnant for a long time. I'm going to be pregnant until uh, November. I'm at the Cairo. Ooh, acupuncture needles in you. Oh, my gosh. Was your appointment on time? Yeah, and I got lots of sundresses. Most of my clothes is actually going to fit me probably throughout my pregnancy. So I'm... Leah, how are you? Maxi dresses, yeah. I don't have many maxi dresses. I need to... But I don't really want to go shopping for that stuff. But it's just so funny how... I'm already noticing people's opinions on everything and, uh, like, why do you have to buy all that stuff? I remember, like, talking about, like, planning my wedding and people were like, well, it doesn't need to be 30000 I was like, yeah, I know, but I have a house party. I spent 500 bucks on food and booze and decorations. You think my wedding, I'm not going to go all out? Do you not know who I am? I go all out for everything. It's a problem I have. I just can't help it. What do you think? I love wearing tight shirts. Oh, that's funny, Vicky. Okay, now I get it. Well, thank you, Chase Chelsea. Okay, so I bought this. P.S. I bought this on um, YouTube. It's a DIY oil painting kit. And this is what I'll be painting. And uh, I already started, but am I going to finish? That's the question. We should have a bet. Like, let's make a bet and see if I'm going to finish. So, it's pretty freaking intimidating. Like, what the frig? Anyways, I kind of started and now I'm bored. And uh, I went live on Facebook instead. So, we'll see how that goes. Chelsea says... The best advice you can take when being a mom is take no advice and do what makes you feel best. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Linda. Um, I'm super lucky. My assistant is here and she she always comes here and does my dishes because she knows how much I hate doing dishes. I freaking love her. And then she's helping me do some sensey stuff. So I just like that I am relaxing yet being productive at the exact same time. It's just amazing. So I'm pretty lucky I'll be able to be a stay-at-home mom, but I'm not getting maternity, so I'm going to have to keep working. I might take, like, three months off and then go back to, like, go back into Sensi full-time and stuff. So, we'll see, but, yeah, it's kind of freaky not getting maternity and not being able to take, like, an actual year, year and a half now in Canada for free and get paid you know, so I'm starting to save a lot of my money because, yeah, I, I do very well with Sensi, but, like, at the end of the month, where is it? I don't know. It's gone. I just live on the edge, I guess. And, um, well, my spare room is my closet, so that's probably one of the things. Okay, Crystal, I bought it on Amazon. So Google DIY oil. DIY the uh, DIY painting by number. It is so cool. And there's so many different ones you can do. Julie! Yes, Linda. I agree. That is the beauty of our business. And that I don't even really have to worry. The money's still going to roll in. Uh, but people follow the leaders. So I just need to make sure that my team is taken care of and um like you said i could just get back into it whenever i i can and whenever i want but anyways just want to come live and chat with you guys 
when I talk, my throat starts hurting more. So I think I'm going to go for a nap now. Maybe make a soup. And um, if I have some chicken noodle soup. I don't think I have crackers. So I should call Chris and get him to buy me some crackers. And I had guests over for a whole week. And then I had my event on Saturday. So maybe I touched like cooties people. People with cooties. And well. P.S. If you guys are going to hang out with your pregnant friends. Don't go there if you're if you're sick because I can't take anything you know it sucks so yes I can take Tylenol but I don't like Tylenol there was one time when I was a teenager I took a lot of them so that's probably why I don't like them <laughs> and it gets not funny I know I just laugh when I I feel awkward <laughs> oh it was a sad day it was a sad day but it wasn't even a sad day it was just one of those days when I was a teenager so um, thank God there wasn't that many in there because I wouldn't be here today, guys. And I wouldn't be having this baby in my belly right now. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching me. Thanks for being so interactive. I'm starting like a full-blown vlog. I'm going to be posting like two videos a week. I'm really excited. Chris is totally uh, on board, which I'm really excited about. And my dream would be to just travel the world with my family. I actually applied to uh, Air Canada as a part-time customer service person, like a full-time, part-time job. It's shift work. It would be like two shifts a week. And I would get their discounts. And then I could fly around the world with my family. Like, that's just a dream of mine. So if I have to work two shifts a week and get that uh, benefit, I would totally do that. Like my wall of pictures. It needs to be updated because I'm missing a lot of Sensi sisters here. Anyways, love you guys. Take care. Brush your hair. Thanks for watching.